So I have my cup all prepared here because I'm probably going to get lost with what I'm going to say. Hi everyone! So I thought I'd do something a little bit different in this video again. Like I'm still trying to find my feet with how I want to film things and how I want things to look on my channel. So for this video, it started off as a vlog. I mean it is still sort of a vlog. But it started off as a proper vlog, <laughs> if that makes sense. It was actually my brother's birthday the other week and we went up to Glasgow to go and visit him. I felt like I'd filmed loads and loads of footage throughout the day and I feel like I have got a lot of footage there, but I don't know if it's enough to make like a whole video of just us vlogging around the day. And so I thought what I would do is kind of talk a little bit about what we got up to, what happened in the day and stuff, and kind of insert the little clips as I'm going along the story. It's probably a bit more of a story time to be honest but yeah please keep watching if you're interested and we'll get so, started <laughs> let's start from the beginning of the day so when we got up in the morning bearing in mind the night before i, I do like i pride myself on being organized with the girls because i like to try and get places on time it doesn't always work but i did give it a go so i had everything prepared for the girls like the, the day before the night before um, so everything was waiting by the car for me to just hide into the car, get down to Mams and get the metro um, for getting the train from Central Station. So everything was prepared. What I did not prepare for was the ice that was on the, <laughs> the front of the car. It was about this thick, like absolutely horrendous. Westy was obviously up for work in the morning, so he was trying to help me like de-ice the car and things. I was running out of time, I was getting really stressed, but I managed to get to my mum's with five minutes to spare before I got on the metro. So there's me like pulled up at my mum's, like flinging the girls into the pram, putting the blankets on, like getting all the um, bags and stuff. I was like, quick, quick, we've got to go. Like half the family went and got the tickets from the machine um, and I was like following behind, like running along with my pram. So it was a bit of a stressful start, but once I was actually on the metro, it was absolutely fine. The train was actually leaving from Newcastle, which was great because it meant that we had more than enough time to get everything on, get settled. When we were on the train, we were spread across two tables. But we kind of sat there, like the girls were awake, they were dead happy. We had like books and stuff out on the table, so they were really entertained. Like looking out the window, we had lots of pointing and going like, ooh, ooh, and like seeing what was there, what was happening outside. grand plan was to do breakfast and their face change on the train so that like I wasn't faffing getting them ready in the morning the time of the train it was in the morning it was really really early anyway so I thought well, they're not usually even up for breakfast at that point so we'll just do everything on the train and we got to Glasgow that would have like enough time to just wander around and stuff and I didn't have to stop anywhere and change them so that went amazingly we gave the girls their breakfast Neve didn't like hers because I, I tried to pack really light so I gave them baby rice which they haven't had for I mean since they were really really little and I'd put some bananas and stuff in there as well but Neve was like what is this that you've given me like this is not my usual breakfast so <laughs> she wasn't best pleased but Amy ate all of hers and luckily my mum had brought like loads of snacks and stuff as well so they had a bit of a snacky breakfast but it was fine because we we're going on a little journey so it's okay when we actually got them changed on the train that was a bit of an experience because I've, I've never really changed a baby on a moving vehicle before so we were a bit all over the place, me and my mum in the bathroom trying to change them, but and it was strange because the, the bathroom on the train didn't have like a strap for the um, baby change unit. So like there was me holding on to one of the twins, like we'd left the other one at the table. So I was holding what, holding my belly, my mum was changing them and it would like do a swap and make sure that no one was going to fall off and things like that. So, and then by the time we'd done all that, we we're at Glasgow, so it made the journey go really, really quickly. Thank you. 
So when we got into Glasgow, we waited for my brother and his girlfriend to come up to the train station to meet with. I needed to change the girls' nappies. So we're like, right, we'll go for a coffee, have a bit of a chill, have a chit chat, like catch up because we haven't seen each other for like quite a while. Like obviously you keep in contact on Facebook and stuff, but it's not the same, you know, as, as actually like seeing people face to face. So it was really nice to catch up. So we're at Costa in the shopping centre and my brother's facing me, like, can I get the girls out of the pram? And I was like, well, on your head be it because I've just put them in there and they weren't exactly pleased. <laughs> Um, but they were absolutely fine and loved having cuddles off them and then we let them have a little bit of a wander around as well because it was dead quiet. Had my coffee, had a little cake, and then we decided, like, right, okay, where, where are we going to go for lunch? And my brother is very, very good at finding quirky places um, and, and places that aren't, like, the typical kind of food bar type things. Yeah, so after we kind of done a bit of shopping, my brother said, right, okay, I found this place we'll go to, and it's called The Abandoned Ship. And we're like, all right, okay, so he takes us down this back alley. So my pram is the Bugaboo Donkey 3 which I absolutely love. It's like my favourite thing in the world. Like, I love that pram. It does get through the majority of doors. Like, it, it, it's for being a side-by-side -side seated twin pram. It's amazing. Um, but there is like, you know, certain places where it's a little bit harder to use. I was like, where are we going down this alley? So yeah, we got into this bar and it's kind of like burgers and, and fries and like things like that. So we all sat and had a burger. They were really good with me actually because I've got celiac disease. So. I needed gluten free so they were really good at providing for that um so i had a burger without the bun sounds weird but actually like once you start not having a burger with a bun don't really miss the bun to be honest and then if i ever do go anywhere that does have like a gluten free bun i'm so full by the end of it half the time i leave the bun anyway because <laughs> you just get used to like not having the extra bread um so yeah, but the food was really, really nice and we had some cocktails as well. So that is the good thing about getting the train is obviously you can have a little drink. So we all had like a little drink, celebrated his birthday and then he opened his present. To be honest, this is where I've struggled with the vlogging bit because after we had lunch and my brother had plans in the evening. Um, so we were really going up for the day and we had my dinner and we're sitting there for ages like having cocktails and that and it was like, all oh, right, like we haven't got long left. <laughs> like I couldn't really get the camera out and film loads because we were just too busy spending time together. Um, which I suppose is a good thing to be fair. So my brother, I think the money was burning a hole in his pocket already. <laughs> so he wanted to have a look in um this like vintage secondhand shop. I don't really know like loads of places around Glasgow to be fair, so I couldn't even say where it was, but went into this little shop. I couldn't get the pram in that door, so I waited outside. <laughs> went to a different pub and that was quite entertaining like trying to get the pram around there to be honest because it was like down this little corridor and like down a few steps um and then like some kind of people like moved out the way because there was only a table at the back and I was like oh my god like I'm causing like chaos with this pram and stuff um but yeah so we got sat down there and we had a drink and then there was this guy started singing and saying that like it was a random guy it wasn't it was obviously an act but <laughs> um so he started like doing his, his show and things like that and we were like oh god like it's getting a bit loud for the girls um and then we we're getting a little bit unsettled so we thought right let's shift my brother just walked like us back to sort of you know where the shopping center was because like well, we're gonna have to change the girls again and i don't think i'm gonna get in the toilets in this pub to be honest so we went that way um and then this is where it started going like a little bit a little bit chaotic ju just a little bit I went to the train station and it was a little bit more chaotic in terms of getting things on and off the train because this train on the way back although it was a direct train to Newcastle from Glasgow which we didn't have the first time but although it was direct it it didn't start off at Glasgow if you know what I mean like we had to get on after the train had already been somewhere else and was then going to Newcastle so the change over time I think it only came up on the platform board um I think it was about three minutes 
before the train pulled in. I hadn't really put the girls in the sling because we didn't know what platform we should be at. So it's easier to push them than it is for me to run with the girls in the sling. So I was like, right, quick, get them in the sling. <laughs> like, you know, push the pram along. I've got the pram on and we get the pram on the train and my mum's like putting it in the luggage like compartment. And this, this woman like came down the, um, the corridor, like the little aisle bit uh, with her cups of tea and just like, try to barge past my mum and my mum was like oh sorry like I'm, I'm just putting this in I'll just be a second and she went excuse me and like shoved past my mum so hard like knocked me mum um and she just kind of like pushed past me as well and I was like well that was really rude but never mind so I feel like all these little things leading up to like actually being on the train like should have told her that it was going to be a bit stressful <laughs> but never mind we ended up sitting we didn't get tables on the way back we had like we were split over six like pairs of seats so there was like two over here and then one on the opposite aisle um so me and my dad sat with Eve and had on this side and then everybody else was on the other side of the train with Amy and because there wasn't enough space to have us all sitting together and then that's where it started so the plan was because the train was later they were going to sleep on the train and it would all be fine did they go to sleep no absolutely fought it completely fall asleep was horrendous I was getting really stressed everyone was a bit like you know staring at me down the, the corridors and, the, and that on the train because I had like two screaming babies and then in the end I ended up putting Coco Melon on because I was like they need to like stop crying and just just watch something just be entertained but in the end they eventually did fall asleep and then we got them back in the pram and um, we got Newcastle and got home got them back in the house had them settled and everything it was like the end of the chaotic day <laughs> basically um but then yeah the day after was absolutely lovely um I stayed over at my mum and dad so I had like a bit extra help and we kind of went around for a little walk and like went out for tea and stuff um and you know they were fine they were okay so we got there in the end but yeah overall I had a really really lovely time in Glasgow like I would definitely like to go back again like obviously want to visit my brother like it goes without saying but <laughs> I just like to see new places and stuff and I think like me and Westy were talking the other day, I would love to take, be able to take the girls like to like different places as well, like broad and whatever. Um, just get them to see like loads of different parts of the world, like I would love that. Um, but we need to crack the travel first, so if there's any other twin parents or even just parents in general, who have any tips for travelling with multiple children or even just a single child on a train, <laughs> like at this age, because the girls are like 13 months now. They're not old enough where they kind of like, I mean, they can walk, but I can't, you know, sit them on a seat and expect them to stay there. And I can't, you know, they don't walk steady enough that I can let them just go and find a seat or something while I'm putting the pram in the luggage thing. Um, it does make us a bit upset because sometimes the trains aren't always the most accessible things. Like, I'll have, maybe I have to do another story time about the Edinburgh journey, but like that just put us off completely. So the other times I've been to Glasgow, I've, I've been in the car um and a lot of the journeys we do in the car so maybe that's the answer maybe you just have to take the car i don't know but yeah if anyone has any travel tips that would be amazing to know because i would like to take them all places in the uk and that and because and, i used to like going on my little city breaks and stuff all the time and i just find that sometimes it feels a little bit impossible with the girls that they aged are at the minute but people do it do you know what i mean there's people that don't even drive like and have to use public transport all the time so I'm sure there's an answer but <laughs> but yeah so I'm actually about to start work now I've only got about 10 minutes before I start my shift so actually my working from home shift today so that's kind of why I thought oh I'm going to quickly jump on while I'm ready and stuff because I can't I can't be unready in case like whatever teams call or something you know what I mean like I've got to be made off just in case <laughs> it never ever happens but the day that I go on with no makeup on it'll be like everyone needs to be on this call so I thought what well, a good opportunity to kind of come on and like talk a little bit about my little trip and things like that um and yeah it was quite nice to do like a little chatty video so I don't know if this goes down well like might do some more in the future um I was talking to my friend the other day as well like she's started her own channel um as well like doing mum vlogs and stuff like that so I'll link Rebecca down in the, the bottom so if anyone does want to watch any of our videos like they're really good so um it's nice that we're kind of starting this journey together like it's something I've always wanted to do and obviously starting out with the makeup stuff like it is really good makeup still is my passion but I think because I'm with the girls all the time it's lovely just to like talk back on it and um you know sound off about everything that we've been getting up to and then 
it's nice to be able to look back on that as well and be like oh yeah we went here this day and, and things so yeah so her channel I'll link down below um so yeah I was talking to her the other day and, and it's given us a little confidence boost to come on and be a bit more chatty because I'm a bit shy <laughs> um so yeah I hope you enjoyed this format and we'll see whether I do one like this in the future but until then thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later